I we need to have a very transparent conversation about rapper and fashion campaigner Theo London because the mainstream media and hip hop media is definitely much so indeed silent. He has been missing for months at this point, and the math just ain't mathin. <laughs> You are now listening to The Unpopular Opinion, the R-U-O, your girl, Rondell, bringing you the latest on news, politics, entertainment, and more. Like, share, and tap in. What's going on, everybody, and welcome to the platform. Now, this story really just sent my head for a loop, honey, because... It's just crazy, all right? Now, recently, about a week or so ago, we heard that Ye, or basically the artist formerly known as Kanye West, was indeed missing, and it looks as though his former manager was trying to basically serve him a subpoena and was unable to find him or locate him, right? And in the reports of Ye being missing, it also came up that his artist, or not really his artist, but a frequent collaborator that he works with, a rapper and a fashion campaigner named Theo London, has also been missing. But here's the difference between the two. We've seen Ye as recent as probably around November or even early December, but Theo has been missing for months. Now, according to Oxygen.com, they wrote this article on December the 29th, stating that Theo London has been officially reported missing in LA. The last time Theo was supposedly seen was in October of 2022, but this report wasn't filed until December of 2022. And according to the Oxygen.com report, they're stating that London, who is 35 years old, was last seen in the infamous LA area of Skid Row, y'all. And the family is stating that the last time they actually spoke to Theo was in, get this, July of 2022. So basically, five months went by without the family speaking to Theo before they basically filed this report. Now, the LAPD basically stated that the person reporting and Theo's family member lost complete contact with him in October of 2022, and London has not been seen since, and his family is concerned. Now, on Tuesday, which is basically last Tuesday, Theo London's family traveled to Los Angeles to personally file his missing persons report, and that was according to NBC News reports. And authorities are now seeking the public's help in locating the missing musician. Now, his father, Larry Moses London, released a statement via CNN and stated that, Theo, your dad loves you, son. We miss you, and all of your family and friends are searching for you. Wherever you are, send some signal. No matter what, we will come and get you, son. Now, his former record label titled Secretly said in a statement on Wednesday that loved ones are frantic trying to assemble a rough timeline regarding the lyricist movements and whereabouts leading up to his disappearance. And this is according to Associated Press. The last time anyone spoke to him was in July. And just to give a little bit of background on Theo London, if you did not know, he was actually born in Trinidad and Tobago, moved to New York City, and in 2011, he released his full length debut album, Times Are Weird These Days. Yikes. We always speak about how words definitely do have power, y'all. Now, over the years, according to Oxygen, London has collaborated with a number of prominent musicians, of course, including Ye, Raekwon, Travis Scott, Big Boy, and many others. And he was even nominated for a Grammy back in 2015 for best rap performance for his feature on Ye's song All Day. He also has worked in the fashion industry conducting campaigns for designers like Virgil Abloh, the chief executive operator for Off-White. He's even designed shoes for other companies as well as model for Tommy Hilfiger. And we gotta ask ourselves, how was it that someone with such an impressive resume in fashion and well-connected in the music industry, even accredited via the Academy, with a nice solid portfolio and network, how was it that he not only ended up missing, 
how was it that he ended up on LA Skid Row? There's definitely a lot of questions here and I think that the hip hop media world is really caught up or has been really caught up over the last couple of weeks with the whole Meg Thee Stallion case and with the whole Young Thug case and with everything going on with YSL or basically YSL and everyone taking plea deals that they have completely ignored this story y'all. Then we have the infamous LAPD who still after 30 years could not figure out the demise of Notorious B.I.G. investigating this. Like we already know the vibes as far as the corruption within the LAPD. So we highly doubt that they're gonna probably be doing their job to the best of their abilities. But there's definitely more to this story y'all that's definitely being left out because I would love to know, maybe people could drop down in the comments and tell me what exactly went left and why was this dude on Skid Row? Was it normal for it to go months without him talking to his family or for his family not to hear from him for a few months, maybe because maybe he was working or on tour. What did they think was going on with him for all these months that they hadn't heard from him? This story does not give me a good energy and good vibe because I know how wicked these streets really are and we really know the type of industry that he's in. So man, we just gonna have to sit back and wait and see how this one plays out. Now, as far as how he got to LA, he actually moved to LA back in 2014 and he moved with his pet dog according to his Wikipedia page where he bought a house that formerly belonged to Humphrey Bogart in the Hollywood Hills neighborhood. And they're also stating that his social media accounts, mainly predominantly his Instagram, have been hacked several times and has had privacy breaches. So something is definitely much so indeed fishy here with this entire situation. Y'all drop down in the comments and let me know what y'all think about this and how y'all think this one is definitely going to play out. All right, but I love y'all. Y'all know this. Y'all take care and y'all be well. Peace.